welcome to the Red Lantern. This is going to be more of a chill let's play than the others that I've done, which is just one. I wanted a slight change, and I thought this might be the perfect chance. This is a game about dog sledding and about discovery, so thought why not? It might be fun. And it could maybe help a tiny bit in some way. So let's do it. Those moments that just stick out in your mind. Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. That didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Oh. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. All right. Oh, hey, we just passed mile marker 32. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? So... What we're going to be doing is getting our dog sledding team together and we are going to be taking a trek. And maybe we'll have some adventures on the way. For my response, I think, especially since we're a bit new. And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. Huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Noodle. Hmm. I'm not sure what these dogs have to offer, but. Hmm. A dog that wants you to listen. Well, I'm happy to listen, so I guess we've already got our first pup. You just need something to motivate you. Perhaps a new adventure, new family. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Oh, such a sweetheart. Okay, Let's hop yes. in the van. I'll introduce you to Chomper. Welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It oh sounds like you weren't gosh. too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. 
Well, I definitely think that I would definitely need some guidance, but... How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? Uh, so she's a little All napper. right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. Uh, did you move your house here? I what? don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Oh, so this is a dog that likes eating. Well, I don't know. How much food will we have? Mm, Bodega might be a bit too much. She looks like she really likes her food. And I don't really know if I can provide that food. Take care, Bodega. Three more. Oh? Dear God, your eyes are blue. You're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you oh. don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. Well... A watcher? I mean... If we need to watch out for danger... He would definitely come in handy. Not to mention, he's so adorable. Hmm. Yes, I think I'll go for it. Yeah. I know some pups that would love to have you around. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You got like Aww, a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. Ah, I hear moose are more threatening than bears. Is that true? I'm gonna take that growls yes. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is gonna be like, but... We're definitely gonna have an adventure. Okay, so far so good. So two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. My. Be okay. Only two more spaces left, and I've got five dogs to look through. Uh, oh. Slayer? Um... I'm not sure? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. Ah, uh, well, I'm actually afraid of balloons too, but it sounds like he might not be the right thing for us. Maybe once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. We're starting a new life. We have to be a little bit picky. I want to make sure we have a well-rounded team. So we've yeah. got four more stops to find our last two pups. That should work. Four more. Igloo! Igloo? Where are you, girl? <gasps> oh my gosh! You what know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? She is just precious. Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. Oh, 
Of course, I just can't pass this one up. She looks so adorable in the light of this igloo. She popped out of the snow. So your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. Well... There will be an adventure for all of us. And I can't wait. It's just her face. She looks so... Cute. But everything should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. Three more. Oh? Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out oh. there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure, and I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good for both of us. All right. What do you think? I I don't think I want to get into fights. At all. No. Not this one. It looks like you've got a pretty good life here. It's great meeting you, Barkley. Oh, we're getting so close to a complete team. Okay, we've got a few more stops left, and we only need one more pup. I know we'll find the right one. Let's hope so. <laughs> Oh? Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Oh. Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Oh. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well. Oh my gosh. I... I can't pass up this girl. She is the most precious. And she can help us with digging. Yes, you're definitely what we need. I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Join us. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, <laughs> Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So, Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. We're going to find our place out in nature. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Are you a pup that can smell porcupines and keep your nose out of trouble? I hope so, because I'd be happy to avoid whatever trouble I can. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. I can't oh, wait. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. So adorable. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? <laughs> I'm not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I can't believe 
believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I guess there is. Oh my. So we're actually starting this. Oh, I'm excited. It's time for a trek and our new adventure. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like. Yeah, but definitely. It'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. All right. So, you're going to have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but. I think you're ready for it. I think he is too. Ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Finn, Stilton, Iggy, Noodle. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. <laughs> oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess that we should it. start. What do they say again? Um, mush on. Uh, mush on. I'm pretty sure it's actually just mush, but mush on sounds just fine. Oh, okay. So I get to steer them on a tiny bit, but it seems now, like here, they're we doing don't say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So let's go. Um, ha. ha. won't survive without exploring, but going into our counters, going into encounters caused hunger. Along the trail you will run into encounters. Encounters have risk, but also bring rewards. Well, that's going to be a new challenge for me, but I'm willing to try it. <sighs> the hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon, or risk losing your current run. So it sounds like we're going to be going on more than just one run. Oh. But, yeah, I was excited for this. Looks like we found some birch trees. We should definitely go get some birch, I think. Uh, we only have one so far. And I'm guessing we're going to need more than one fire. I need you to start fires. <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. Mm. Well, I worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. This birch will really help. Let's get back out there. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, Birch is actually... Oh? All right. And trail markers are red. Okay. But Birch definitely isn't the easiest to get out. 
or bark in general, really, it is particularly tough, especially if it's still alive. When it's dead, it's still tough, but not as tough. So? Oh, there was a trail marker. What I find quite fun about this is that... Finn, what do you smell, girl? There's something worth checking out up there? Oh? Oh, um... Oh, okay. Let's What you tracking, up. girl? Oh, Finn, get oh, out of there! Oh, God. <sighs> oh, she just got sprayed by a skunk all her face. Oh, I can't- I can't say that! That's just mean! No! It's okay, it was bound to happen. The previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Hey, pups. Ready to go? As I was just about to say... Dog sledding like this. You no, know, it didn't work out this time, Finn, but... I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Dog sledding has actually been around for over 2,000 years by now. It's quite an ancient tradition. And that's just dog sledding. There's, of course, as well, just the habit of using dogs to carry stuff, which has been around since 2000 BC, actually. Oh? Noodle, are you trying to bring it closer or keep it away? How close do you think that wolf is? Oh, um... Oh my. Okay, so there's a wolf. Uh... Okay, okay, um... Will it hurt us? Does it... Noodle doesn't look... I don't think... I don't think Noodle wants us to kill it. It looks like... He probably wants us to help it, but... Oh, this run's gonna end very abruptly and very quickly. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. I I'm glad you brought us out here, Noodle. I hope that wolf makes it. Okay, okay, so we're not dead. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's mush on. But that was actually quite interesting. While bulls and dogs are both pack animals. Let's take a break. Oh, yeah, let's... Before I die We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. to feed the dogs and sleep to restore okay but as I was saying it is quite interesting that Noodle would want to help out a wolf while they are both pack animals and both from the canine family there are a few key differences between the two while one is domesticated and used to humans the other is a lot more dependent on its own kind. So, to see Noodle uh, wanting to help out a fellow canine, it, it is really, really sweet. And, well... <laughs> I can't believe we released a wolf, huh? I wonder how long it was out there. I hoped it wasn't there for long. You think it'll be okay? I really don't like traps. The thought of putting out traps to 
catch animals instead of... Well, I can understand the natural order of things, of things being killed for food. Laying out traps just... just seems wrong. Oh, and Finn's over there. You did good out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. Mm. I trust you, Finn. You can trust me. But you still smell a little. <laughs> Aww. Such a smelly boy. Oh, and Iggy. Such a cutie. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. Then we got Chomper, of course. Oh, some more scratches. And Stilton. I think Stilton is probably. Well, don't tell the others, but he's probably my favorite just from. You keeping a lookout for all of us? His eyes alone. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but. I think it's time for some good old pets. Oh. Look at that face. Maybe some of these. And a bit of a scratch here. Right, so I do need to eat. Maybe we should eat. Uh, Fire yeah. would be nice. Let's start oh, I can't a fire. wait to feel the warmth on my face. <laughs> I'm ready to cook some food. So we only have two pieces of meat and mm, I don't know. While yes, we do need to eat, I uh, from what I've seen, encounters seem to drain our Food, and trail markers seem to drain theirs but I, I do feel a bit bad because well for the for the dogs to be able to for the dogs to be able to actually withstand the cold they actually do need full stomachs most of the time it, it is actually quite normal for sled dogs to, like, to be outside, to sleep outside, of all things, but... <sighs> the one thing that they do need to be able to be outside is for them to be fueled up. It helps them keep their heat, and it is one of the most important things to do when you have a dog sledding team. Is to keep them well fed. But I guess I am going to be eating both the meats. And I don't think I need to do anything else. So back on the trail. Guess we're heading back out. Ready to go? So, mush on. Oh, there's a trail marker. Oh, did you see that? Oh. A bald eagle. Uh, no, Chopper, I don't think he can jump that high. <laughs> what do you pups think? I think we should let Noodle make the call. You know these woods. Is it worth following? Follow it is. Oh. You're a lot bigger than I expected. I heard it's illegal to shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I am definitely not shooting a bald eagle. There is absolutely no way. What? Question is... Why did Noodle want us to come here? I guess I'll wait. So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? Oh. Bunny! No 
Okay, then. The eagle led me to a rabbit. Oh, I really do love rabbits, though. They're so cute and adorable, and I just... I really love these little guys. Despite what people believe, bunnies are actually quite intelligent. And not dim-witted in the slightest. Bunnies are prey animals, so they tend to be very skittish. But they are so wonderful and fluffy and... Oh... I don't know if I want to. I mean, we do need meat. But, I guess, we should, we should try and get Chomper to do the hunting. Dogs do have their own instincts to hunt, and we could definitely encourage that if we're going to be living out into the, in the wilderness. It could definitely come in handy. I probably shouldn't give in to your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. But we're gonna have so much future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. Oh, their energy was refilled for that. You know, Chomp, you can't just follow me whenever you want. Let's go, <laughs> Chomper. I think it's okay for them to follow us. Look at the cute, fluffy tails. This really has been really enjoyable so far. It's quiet, and it's nice. It's well fun. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Oh, well, I I guess we're going on a hunt. Oh, stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Oh. Oh, okay, so we need to get it in the circle, I'm guessing. Did I? Oh, God, I only injured it. Um, oh, no. One more should do the trick, as long as I don't miss. <sighs> don't miss again. Missing isn't an option. You can't leave it injured. <sighs> you can do this. Yeah, you should never leave an animal injured. That's what we needed. I'll collect what I can and get back to the sled. Leaving an animal injured is... That was worth it. An absolute... Another meal ready to go. An absolute cruelty. This is our last like I said, well, At least I'm we've not already got some food. Best morally. I can understand hunting and getting food, even if it's taking another life, but... To leave something injured is just not... No. Let's be safe out there. If you need to kill an animal for food, then you should make it quick. You should make it as painless as possible. Hmm. Let's go... Uh, I'm gonna go... G. G. You're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, Pops. I got this. I think I'll check it out. Oh, you're really close. Oh, can I touch it? <laughs> okay, stay calm. Isn't this what I wanted? Oh no, I did not think that through. I thought we were going to pet the elf. I really shouldn't have thought that, really. <laughs> A wild animal like elk, and honestly, you should never touch the horn of any animal. For most animals, it is very much a sign of an aggression or a challenge, and this is never a good idea. Never reach for the top of a horned animal's head. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Should have expected that. There has never been a sign that says, please pet the wild animals. I'm coming, Pops. You were right. I might need to patch myself up soon. Oh. I shouldn't have risked it. Let's get back out there. Oh, my food. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Should we camp? Yes, definitely. This okay. is a good spot to rest. Okay, so we definitely need to... Oh no, don't tell me the pups can get hurt too. Well, for now, we're just gonna patch ourselves up. I'll, I'll be okay. <sighs> and we definitely need to eat. A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark. A little spark. And behold, fire. Okay. I'm so... ready to cook some food. So far, what we've learned is to not pet the wild animals. That's never a good idea, but... Oh... I... am eating too again. But I think the dogs can good also Good time! Chow down, pups! Oh, so adorable. <gasps> Okay, that's just adorable. Mm, it gave them a lot less food than I thought it would, but it's still good. Pets, pets, pets. Such a cutie pie. I love her. Igloo is the best. Well, I guess it's time to go back, back out. on the trail. Let's be safe out there. All right. I guess it's time to go. I wonder what's waiting out there. The wildlife can be unpredictable. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Uh, wait. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Oh, Noodle. Eh, all of it is. Let's go, Noodle. Oh, oh good omen. That's what we needed, team. What do we think it'll lead us to? So we have some birch. It's a good start. Oh. Yeah, I definitely think that owls are one of the most beautiful creatures ever. <laughs> I grew up with my grandma being obsessed with owls, but they're just so majestic and these night walkers are so adorable. <laughs> I guess I've said that a couple times now, but I don't know why, just fuzzy animals in general, just... They really rock my vibe. Um, oh, we're definitely not eating it. Never. I guess we could watch the owl, but... I think we should take the bark from the tree. I definitely think we need some more bark now. Ugh, why is bark so hard to rip off? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, pups. This birch will really help. Let's get back out there. I actually did get calluses on my hand from handling trees at one point. Oh, now what? Oh, let's Jake. wait for G. But, yeah, debarking trees is... Honestly, not an easy job. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? I think we should check it out. Hey, Pope, stay nice and quiet. Let's see if it'll come closer. Oh, come on. 
Come on. I don't know if I can get a good shot from here, but we need food. I don't think I have a choice. Well... No, definitely not. Not from this far away. But wow. That looks majestic. Let's go. You pups do okay? I don't Ready know if I should be going on all of these. I should definitely be prioritizing what I stopped for, but I really can't help it. This is I know, well, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, yeah. we're still alive, and we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just we could pass some more trees, snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh? It's been really nice oh. not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Well, there definitely are some pretty bad mushers out there, but I'm hoping that we're going to be the good kind. The one that cares for our dogs. Doesn't just throw them out. They're useless. I, I have a really big pet team, but... There's an owl somewhere nearby. Oh? I know I shouldn't, but... Ooh. Ooh. Not an owl! Oh no. A moose. I don't think I like moose. Or owls. Why did I go out there? I really don't know. Ready to go? Oh, we should definitely Let's camp. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's rest. Okay, so we don't have another med pack. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. That moose was definitely not to be bargained with. Oh, and we don't have any food. Our first one really has been a rough one, but... I, I think we did okay. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. Oh. You barely know me. Such a sweetie. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. And one day I'll get you to trust me a bit more. For now, I definitely think... Might be time to get some rest. Sleep. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be at home. Well, should we go to sleep? Yes. Okay, so we slept for six hours. All right. Everyone feeling better? Finn? Oh? Did you take my beanie? Oh, what a sweetheart! It kind of looks like you did. Oh, Finn. Are you comforted by my scent? Because I think you're thinking about being my friend. Okay. Well, uh, I'll need that hat back before we go running, but you can keep it for now. How adorable. Finn took our beanie. Oh, that's just the most precious. It seems he might be a bit of an anxious dog. He definitely shows signs of it, and... Oh... I just think it's the most precious thing ever. Well, we might not be able to... Properly... Get this run going, or get all the way where we need to go. We still made it. I'm not that far, but... Get back on the trail? We did okay. You Finn? 
I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let's be safe out there. Let me hope I didn't do too bad. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so no, sure. It's okay. The moves rushed right at us. We really barely made it out okay. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. You okay, pups? I pushed you too hard, haven't I? It's okay. We're done. You've done all you can. At least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, I didn't think it could be that hard. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of. All right. So? At least? Things can get interesting. All right. So, I guess this is how the runs are going to be set up. We didn't make it on our first one, but. I, I think it's supposed to be like that. We had a whole to-do list. And we did everything from getting a van, bringing Chomper, adopting a dog team, going to Alaska. <laughs> Looks like we really had some things to do. Imagine the new neighbors you'll have, and the beauty you'll see. Don't be afraid to explore, but prepare for the worst case too. Pay attention to everything. Be excited by the small things, and the big ones too. You're out here learning. Find the new you. I honestly couldn't agree more. At least? We seem to be adapting, so we're going to be bringing more bullets and food, and felt small out on the plains. There's just so much else. Uh, oh, and we have everything on the animals. So on the moose we have a who hooted. A moose or owl? <laughs> oh my. Well, let's see, what do we have out here? We have the foxes, the bears, the weasels, the owls, the ptarmigans, the rabbits, the moose, the eagles, deer, oh, and the caribou. That has to be my favorite. Caribou's are actually quite interesting, or, or, well, reindeer in general are really interesting. I really love them. We have the squirrel, porcupine, the skunk, the elk, the oxen, or the oxen, the wolverines, the wolves, and the beavers. I couldn't leave the wolf like that. Oh, I guess they're talking about how we saved the wolf. <laughs> it really is quite fun. I think I'm going to like this game. So what do you say? And I think 
I'm going to leave it here for now. But this has definitely been an interesting and honestly amazing journey. I will definitely be continuing this. Or I hope that I will. I guess we'll see, won't we? For now, I leave it here. This is the outro music.